By the end of 2020, governments had mobilized some $14 trillion to meet the unprecedented demands of the pandemic. But across the board, those allocations represented a significant departure from normal fiscal policy processes. We've also heard many stories on abuse of public monies by unscrupulous officials and corrupt actors. But what we have not seen is adequate coverage on the systems that need to be put in place to curb abuse of funds and to ensure that they are reaching their intended targets and beneficiaries. Our report focuses on this precise issue. Among the key findings, governments fail to adopt key measures to enhance accountability. The role of legislatures or parliaments has been limited during the pandemic, with almost 50% of countries introducing fiscal policy measures through executive decrees. Public input around COVID response packages was virtually non-existent, excluding the public voice in priority-setting decisions during the pandemic. Our assessment shows that more than two-thirds of surveyed governments are falling short of managing their fiscal responses in a transparent and accountable manner. Only 10 out of 120 countries made meaningful efforts to engage with their populations on the design and oversight of relief monies, while civil society groups have worked to fill the space. The report lists only four countries, Australia, Norway, Peru and the Philippines, as having adequate levels of accountability. South Africa is ranked among a group of 29 countries as having some levels of accountability, along with the United States, Canada and Nigeria, among others. Governments can adopt reforms now, such as publishing monthly progress reports and disclosing procurement details in open formats with an underlying message that when governments don't deliver as promised, underserved communities bear the brunt. Sherwin Bricepies, SABC News, New York.